And now about those American women. Tonight is gymnastics, and millions of folks back home will be watching the so-called flying squirrel, Gabby Douglas, because of her talent, her smile, her sparkle, and her story, which we get tonight from NBC's Chris Jansen. Don't let Gabby Douglas's size, 4 feet 11 inches, 90 pounds, her megawatt smile, or her infectious <laughs> laugh fool you. She is one fierce gymnast. Nicknamed the Flying Squirrel. I love to make my release moves really high so I could just hear the crowd on the side go, oh. She was spunky even as a toddler. Flipping off the furniture and scaling the doors, she'd grab a hold to the door handle and then just scale to the top of the door. She started training at six with the intensity of an Olympian even then. First place was the Gabrielle Douglas. But when she was just nine years old, Gabby's dad went to war, to Iraq, then Afghanistan. I just had to pray to God just to keep him safe and tell the angels to keep my dad safe and come home. He came back safely, but her parents separated. She was devastated and distracted. And she believed she could find her focus again with acclaimed coach Liang Chow. Trouble was, his gym was 1,200 miles away in Iowa. It was horrible. <laughs> very, very hard. I cried. Gabby remembers looking down from the plane, a scared 14-year-old. And all I just see is just like fields of corn and like beans. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> At first, the move was promising. Chow was taking Gabby's skills to a new level. A local family, the Partons, volunteered to be her home away from home. <laughs> we promised her mom we'd Make her feel as much a part of her family as if she were our own flesh and blood. And Gabby loved playing big sister to their four young girls. <laughs> the community has embraced her as well. Local TV and newspapers have done stories on Gabby. And the AAA ball club for the Chicago Cubs invited her to throw out the first pitch. Ladies and gentlemen, on your feet for Gabby Douglas! Gabby was thriving. But pangs of homesickness were setting in. And you've been here about a year and a half, right? Yep. How many times have you been home? Mm, zero. Feeling the yeah. pressure to succeed, in January, she wanted to quit. I'm like, oh, I miss my mom and my family, and I, I even miss my dogs. I said, if you think that you're going to have regrets, then don't do it. Gabby not only decided to stay in Iowa, she roared back in competition, scoring an upset to win the U.S. gymnastics trials. And in London, both families have been in the stands celebrating the team gold medal led by her proud mom. She's energetic. She's caring. She's compassionate. You know, if I didn't know her, I'd want to meet her. <laughs> Now the world is having a chance to meet Gabby Douglas. Gabby really has that star quality. You can't buy it, you can't fake it, you can't teach it, but the whole family is that way. And frankly, at this Olympics, Brian, they've got a lot to smile about. And we get to see it tonight, millions of us.